you know, sometimes I think I have everything all figured out, and then, then I keep analyzing, and all of a sudden I'm finding, wow, I was wrong about everything. I was, uh, I was tempted to um, move into an apartment and sell the house. It's an apartment complex I lived in before, back in 2002. But every time I go there, I, I start worrying about things. Uh, some of the office staff are just so cold and have such strange looks on their face. I keep asking, asking them for the book of rules for the residents, and I still don't have it. What are they hiding? Every time I go there and get a tour, the place is deserted. There's a waiting list for residents. I'm on the waiting list. But where are all these people? I asked recently, are there coyotes here? Because there's like a forest surrounding most of the property. My answer was that they gave me, this is Florida, there's always coyotes. I never saw a coyote in South Florida. <laughs> anyway, I'm in North Florida now, so things are different. I was looking at the reviews from tenants online, and some of them are complaining of snakes, a tremendous amount of snakes on the property. I don't need that. And recently, one of the office workers told me that you're not allowed to leave your dog on the patio if you're not on the patio. I mean, what if I'm just five feet away from the patio and he wants to go sit on the patio? <laughs> and, and the more I uh, investigate that place and do research, the better and better this house seems. I'm so free here. What if I'm sick one day and my joints are aching or, or, or my blood pressure is low or whatever and I can't walk the dog? You see, in this house, there's a pet door I had built. He can go out any time. I mean, I've set up this place so it's so convenient and so logical and comfortable and safe. And plus the idea of being in an apartment when I don't know how many people have the key to your apartment. I mean, uh, the staff that's there, how many of them have your key? What is that, that they can enter your apartment anytime? What if I'm not home and the dog's in the apartment, of course, and they decide to enter the apartment? I mean, and he would act protective, of course, of, of the home, the master's home. So what are they going to do, spray his eyes with one of those dog repellents? I mean, the more I think, and this happens all the time when I think I find another property to invest in or move to, the better and better this place is. And plus, moving to that apartment would cost me about $400 more a month. Now, if I stayed here and saved that $400, that's that's over 4000 a year. I could buy a new vehicle every few years. So I think I'm going to go there in a week or so and tell them to take me off the waiting list and give me my $50 waiting list fee back. And, well, it was a nice thought experiment and makes me appreciate this place better. And there's so many things you could do in a yard, and you won't have a personal yard in an apartment complex. And you're sharing a wall. It's getting kind of dark in here. It's a cloudy day. Um, you're sharing a wall with someone on each side, and in back of you, and over your head. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I get up at 3, 3 a.m. because I went to bed too early. And I start right away listening to YouTube videos, educational videos, and it's very nice to have this freedom. 
Would I do that in an apartment house? Wouldn't I be worried about waking up the neighbors? What if they start a fire next door? We're sharing a wall. That fire is going to come to me. So these are just some thoughts I thought I would share. It, uh, it gets hard to be logical all the time when we do have emotions. But i got to try and be more and more like Mr. Spock from Star Trek. Anyway, um, happy Sabbath, happy weekend, and thanks for all your comments. It's very nice.